Hi friends, as we announced in our last live session, the next live session would be on 23rd Feb 2019, which is a Saturday at uh, 10 a.m. We'll have a two hour session up to noon, right? It'll be a two hour, maybe 10 minutes here and there, roughly two hour sessions that we have, that we have been doing for many weeks now, right? And the theme or the topic, this is something that uh, we announced in the last live session, that the topic would be how to code and program effectively. So something that we notice is amongst our students, especially who come from non-CS backgrounds, even students who come from CS backgrounds, right? So given a real world problem, given a real world problem, they, they are not able to break it down. They are not able to break the problem down and break the problem down into smaller components, break the problem down into smaller components and find the code and write the appropriate code for each of these components using multiple resources, using their basic understanding of Python, using Google search effectively, also using publicly available resources like function references, right? Using function references, using Stack Overflow and other, other resources on the internet. So we thought we would do a session where the first part of the session, where the first part of the session would focus on how to write or program effectively, given that you already know Python. Again, by the way, the prerequisite, you need to understand or have a basic working knowledge of Python. So whatever Python we have covered in the course is, is sufficient to attend this session. So if you have completed the very first section in our whole course, which is Python for data science, right? You're good enough to understand most of what we'll discuss in this live session. Having said that, so the first part will be how to code and program effectively. We'll take a simple problem, break it down into components, logical components, and try to fill in these or find the solutions for these logical components using the internet. The second part, the second part of this live session would be whatever we have learned in the first part to use some of these techniques to build a simple but working and functional web scraper in Python. Okay, so a web scraper basically scrapes a web page or basically uh, obtains the web page and 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 obtains all the data. So it's web scrapers basically uh, pull or they obtain a web page and they, they they scrape or obtain the data on a web page, right? So this these web pages could be any form. If the data is on a web page, you can use a web scraper to obtain the data. Of course, there are some legal restrictions around it. We'll also discuss this, but we'll build a simple but functional. Of course, we're not going to build an internet scale or a Google scale web scraper here. We'll build a very simple but functioning web scraper in Python and we'll use some very interesting libraries. A lot of students sometimes panic as soon as they see a new library. We want that fear to be gone, right? We want them to be flexible to learn new things by using the first part. In the first part will teach you how to actually use resources on the internet to solve some real world problems and break down code into modules and will whatever tricks we learn in the first part, We'll employ them to build a simple web scraper. Okay, so this is a two hour live session and this live session will be available on YouTube as well as a desktop app. So this will be available directly on YouTube and also a desktop app. Since this is a general topic, we thought we'll make it open to the general audience, not just our registered students. So our registered students can certainly access this on YouTube as well as the desktop app. So we'll have, uh, we'll have it available on both. And I'll, in, 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 in the description section under this video, I'll provide you a link where you can actually sign up for this, uh, for this live session on YouTube so that YouTube sends you a reminder right before the live session itself, right? So even for our registered students also can watch it on YouTube. People who are not registered for us also can watch it in on, on YouTube. We thought we'll make it generic enough because this is a very general topic which can help thousands of folks both CS students and non-CS students, working professionals, everyone. 